Hey guys, it's Agwick, and with the release of Valorant's newest patch comes a ton of leaks and changes as well. In today's video, we are going to discuss some of the more important things as well as some of the new buffs and nerfs that have been added to the game. Long story short, I was browsing Twitter and found this post by Valorant Leaks. For those who don't play League of Legends, cascade picking is when one person picks an agent and then the other team picks two then two again for the first team, and so on and so forth. I'm assuming it'll work the same way as League does because both Valorant and League are made by Riot. This means that it's not about who gets the lock in first, and if this change does go through, it will effectively kill insta-locking. It also gives players more time to build out a well-rounded composition and hopefully discuss strategies and how to play the map. Now. We all know that that's not going to happen, but it'll be pretty interesting to see how cascade picking will affect gameplay. Secondly, Knights Arena, a Riot sanctioned tournament, will be the very first to have agent bans in pro play. How it works is that each team protects two agents and bans one. This will actually be insane for the pro scene and will have very big implications on how the meta shapes up, especially if certain agents like Jet, Astra, or Sova can be banned away. If it works well enough, we might even see it in regular ranked games. But who knows right, at least Riot is testing a few things and spicing up the meta. Speaking of the meta, in the recent update, Riot did buff the Ares, Guardian, Bulldog and Melee while simultaneously nerfing the Spectre. The Ares is supposed to have a faster fire rate and no spin up time, the Bulldog has better hip fire and recovery time, and the Guardian has had the firing rate penalty on ADS removed and added an extra bullet before it starts to get unstable. The Melee hitbox has also been increased by 1.5 times, which I do like. Now, with regards to these changes, I'm still a bit skeptical by the Ares buff. I don't think it really needed one, seeing as it was one of the higher penetration, low cost weapons. However, because of the nerf to the Spectre, I think we'll be seeing a lot more Ares users on round 2 or even on half by rounds. Will it be healthy for the game though? Nobody knows. But what do you guys think? Also. We have some changes to the maps, but I don't want to comment on them too much without actually playing on them. From my initial impression, it does seem that Breeze is going to be a bit more balanced and I guess more fun to play in that regard. Last but not the least, they're removing Wide Killjoy, which I think is a very big mistake. Shame on you, right? Anyway, that's it for this vid. If you guys have any comments or suggestions about the topic, I'd love to hear them down below. I'm sorry that this is a pretty short vid, but I have like a lot of backlog to work on and a lot of things to catch up on. So I'm just giving a quick update on how I feel with the recent changes and the recent buffs and nerfs. Thank you so much for 145k subscribers. This is Egwick, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.